Hey, welcome back to my new video. Today, we're gonna learn how to make a restaurant menu screen in After Effects. Create a new composition and rename this to main comp. And create a new solid for the background and choose any color. I'm gonna create a new composition again and size it to 700 by 1080 and rename this to video comp. Hit OK. And I'm going to use a video I've already downloaded from pixel.com and I'm going to drag and drop this video here and scale it down to fit the comp size and I'm going to trim off this layer and drag another footage which is this and I'm going to use the second one and scale it down select the rectangle tool make sure you don't select anything here and change this color to whatever color you like and stroke to no stroke and draw a box like this select this shape layer Control D to duplicate and move it down here and you can add your text once you're done adding all your text let's create another composition and rename this to menu list and size it to 1100 by 900 hit ok create a new solid for the background bg hit ok and go to the fix and presets and select full color gradient drag and drop it on the solid and pick a color i'm gonna choose a dark color create another composition and rename it to burger one select the text tool and type in spicy burger select the text layer and Control d to duplicate and type in another text and go to the paragraph change the paragraph go to the font and change the font to a thinner font and you may want to scale it down select the rectangle tool and without selecting any layers draw a box around the spicy burger and select the shape layer and move it down below the spicy burger select this pen behind tool and change this anchor point to the left corner and you can scale it from here selecting on this shape layer hit s to bring up the scale go to one second set a keyframe go back to the first frame and set this x axis to zero Select all the keyframes, hit F9 and go to the graph editor and change to something like this. Now let's animate the text. Collapse the spicy burger. Go to animate and add a position. Collapse this range selector and go to advance and change this shape to ramp up. And go to the position and change this Y axis to 50. And we're gonna animate this offset. So set a keyframe at the beginning here and go to one second and set this to 100. Select all the keyframes F9 and change this is high to 60 is low to 40. Let's collapse everything. Select this animator, copy, control C and select the other text and hit control V to paste. Collapse this text and animator and change this position to negative 50. Select the shape layer 1, Control D to duplicate it and move it just above the spicy burger and go to this mode and set this track mat to alpha mat. Select the rectangle tool and draw a box around the second text for a mask and change this to alpha mat. Select the pen tool or G on the keyboard and X out the fill and you just need a stroke or maybe around 2 pixel. Choose your color and draw a line something like this. Make sure you hold down shift while you draw the line so that you have a straight and perfect line. Rename this to line, collapse this and add an effect called trim path and we're going to animate the trim path, collapse the trim path and set this to 0, go to 
the first frame, set a keyframe and go to maybe about here and set this to 100. Select all the keyframes, F9, go to the graph editor and change it to something like this. All right, select the spicy burger text, control D to duplicate and move it above all layers. Reposition it to the right side and rename this to your price. In this case, $2.5 and reposition it somewhere here. And we're gonna create a mask just we did for the text. Select the rectangle tool and draw a box around the text. We don't need a stroke, we just need a fill of any color I'm gonna choose white and draw a box around the text like this and move it just below the text and change this to alpha mat all right let's just retime the animation of the price just when the line reaches there we want the animation to start all right once everything is done select this and draw a box around the design and we're gonna crop this so go to composition and select this crop comp to region of interest all right let's assemble everything together go to the main comp and drag and drop this video comp just above the background and make sure you on this title action safe and reposition this scale it down and drag and drop the menu list there and reposition it to the right and move it just below the video comp and we're gonna animate the video comp here hit p to bring up the position set a keyframe at one second go back to the first and move it up select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease and make the graph something like this and make sure you turn on the motion blur so that it looks nice like this all right so moving on let's go inside the menu list and let's animate this select this p and set a keyframe and move it about two seconds and at the first frame drag it to the left so that it slides in like this f9 for easy ease go to the graph and tweak it like this all right let's drag and drop the burger one inside the menu list and reposition the timing so that when it's the background slides in you want the burger and reposition somewhere here to the top now that we have one burger we have to add another burger item so if you duplicate the burger one here it's not gonna work because if you change the text it will change both the title of the burger here so you have to go to the project panel and duplicate the burger one and rename the duplicate comp to burger two and drag it inside the composition and you reposition it here to the top double click burger 2 and change the name of the burger and you can see here the name of the burger is longer than the previous one so the easiest way to fix this is to change the mask which is this control select both this and make sure you put this play hat at this keyframe and extend this out you'll have to duplicate the burger from the project panel and do it for all the burger items that you have and you can go inside every single composition and you can change the layer and if the text is long long enough so that the background mask out you can do the same like i've shown you you can change the price and once you have created all your burger list you can drag and drop inside the menu list you can offset the timings here like this and one appears after the other so that is how you can create this kind of restaurant menu animation in after effects i hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel consider subscribing thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video